Whoo! So it looks like I'm not alone when it comes to the matter of the herb. And we're finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know the deal. Intro. Yo, what is good, fam? It is your boy, Jason JV. Say welcome to another review video. Yes, yes, y'all. We are doing something a little bit different here. Now, as you guys know, if you watch my previous video, which was my latest vlog, you know what I'm saying? I kind of address, well, not kind of, I pretty much address my relationship with Mary Jane. If you guys want to hear all about that, you know what I mean? Feel free to go check out that video. Um, I will put up the vlogs playlist at the end of this video. And then, of course, if you can't wait till then, then hey, you can always click out, check out that video real quick. It's my most recent release. You know what I mean? It's my very most, like, previous release, <laughs> I should say, uh, prior to this video. So, you're more than welcome to go hit that up first to get context and then come back here. Although, I'm pretty much going to be repeating, I know I'm going to repeat some points um, as we progress in this review video. So, either way, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, uh, so there's there's the the, the 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 we're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> there's this YouTuber uh, who goes by the name of Alpha M. I've been following this dude. He's basically one of those like kind of like you know self help uh, gurus, you know what I'm saying? Um, who offers you know advice and tips, you know what I'm saying for for men, you know what I'm saying whether it's grooming style, you know what I'm saying, and um, you know. Um, and uh, some other things, basically, you know, self improvement, self help. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really lo love this guy's content. Um, you know, I can't help but watch just so many of his of his videos and everything because I think you know it's been helping me out a lot um, as of recently. But anyway, the video of his this video that he put out. This is actually a really old video. He's still making content to this very day. Um, he has over uh, six million subs. So obviously my man is doing some great things here. But this video that we're going to get into, this is a very old video. It's almost 10 years old. It came out about eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. And uh, this is basically him giving his perspective on Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this video is called Let's Talk About Weed, Alpha's Opinion on Marijuana. So yeah, let's go ahead. And, and get my man's perspective on this subject and uh, best believe your boy is going to provide his insights as well with y'all <clears throat> he's going to share his insights as well with y'all I should say so without further ado I'd like to hit hit so yeah style grooming and fitness so, yeah this is supposed to represent a joint of marijuana <laughs> pot, right? But it's actually just paper towel. Sorry to burst your bubble. You thought Alpha was going to smoke dope on a video. Finally, you knew. I and don't play yourself. Y'all know y'all thought that, that that was a joint for a minute. Don't don't play. Don't play now. I got high, right? Well, hang on, because today we're going to talk about it. Um, I'm a little nervous about this video because from the beginning, I've tried to steer away from controversial topics like religion, politics, and how to dress up Under Armour. One of the re Yep, uh, some, 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 some topics I can't say I blame him from avoiding. Anyway. Reasons is because a personal pet peeve of mine is when you have these people in the media or celebrities who have an audience and they think that just because they've got an audience or a following that they are justified in basically expressing their views on religion, politics, everything under the sun and life. It's like they're in movies, people run up to them, ask them for their autograph and they think that their opinion actually matters. It's like your eighth grade education is going to outweigh all the scientific research, evidence, and all that stuff. Yeah, really? Uh -huh. Well, you guys know that I don't need any help sounding uneducated or dumb. The other reason is that I... Right? I mean, that's exactly what these celebrities be sounding like when they give their viewpoints. But anyway, not the point of this video. 
I have worked way too hard to develop a brand and for me to go and talk about something super controversial just because I may feel something and totally alienate a large portion of the population would be brand and alpha M suicide. I just want to talk about shoes and how and I wish a lot of people had this kind of mindset, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you're a celebrity, right, you're you're in the movie industry, you're in the music industry, looking at you, Eminem, um, <laughs> you have your viewpoints or whatever, bruh, bruh, I mean, true, in this country, we have a right to say whatever we want, but I mean, if you're a, a businessman and a savvy vi businessman, then it'd probably be wise if you practice the savvy aspect of that title by, you know, just keeping your mouth shut. You know what I mean? When it comes to things like politics and whatever else that you really don't have a clue about. Just saying. How to eliminate swamp ass. All of this just to say that today I'm going against my better judgment to address a question that I recently got asked. The question was Alpha. What are your thoughts on weed? The follow-up question was, do you have any experience with it? Do I have any experience with it? That is just the most diplomatic way of asking me if I ever have smoked pot. And so with all the debate surrounding the legalization of marijuana and the fact that I'm sure some of you are curious as to my views on recreational marijuana use, I figure why not give my experience and opinion. Please note, this is just my opinion and nothing else. Also note that Alpha M and its affiliates do not endorse the views expressed by its owner. Okay, so the first question, have I ever smoked pot? And the answer is yes, I have. Um, and I inhaled. I first smoked pot. I like how he said, and I inhaled. You know, that's a that's a Bill Clinton reference. <laughs> Let's go. Hot in high school, my senior year, a lot of my friends were recreational stoners, and I thought, hey, let me give it a try and see what all the fuss is about. So I tried it. Nothing happened. So I tried it again, and I got high. Um, throughout high school, my senior year, I smoked it occasionally. Um, when I went to college, my frequency essentially stayed the same. I don't need any help being any more paranoid. I also didn't have money. I grew up broke. I went to college, I was broke. I had to work, and so I never had money money to spend on weed. It just wasn't that important for me or to me. Um, <laughs> God, I'm so high right now. So my sophomore year, I'm living with four other guys. There's five of us in this house. Well, the other four of them really liked weed. Me, not so much. Um, they were smoking it all the time. They were also starting to grow it. Now, back then, I didn't know much, but I did know that it was illegal. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew that prison was not somewhere where, where Alpha M would flourish. I would be popular. Right, I'm sorry. Well, sorry, not sorry, but just some things ain't, ain't worth going to prison for. You know what I'm saying? Right. Popular, but I wouldn't do well. For these reasons, my junior year, I decided I needed to leave them and go and live by myself. So I went and got a one-bedroom apartment. Um, and really, that was about the end of my recreational marijuana use. Um, side note, I graduated in four years. My friends took them six years to get their forestry degree, but they made it. So whoever said smoking pot will lead to not doing things, it just might take you a little longer. I liked college. Um, you know, I graduated with like a 3.2. I didn't really apply myself all that much. Once I got into the business courses in my later college years, when I got into my major, that was more interesting to me. But I was excited to get out of college. I saw it sort of as a, tr as a necessary transition to me getting out and actually doing stuff that I was passionate about. And so... See, and, and that's... And I believe that's why, you know... I think that's partly the reason to why I, I gave it up because I don't like the idea of a controlled substance. I, think I, I see what they what they did there with the with the controlled part. I don't like the idea of a controlled su substance, you know, dictating my pace, you know what I'm saying, or basically taking control of my life. I like being in full control of my life. You know what I'm saying? I believe in self accountability and whatnot, but hey so Ultimately, it was it was my decision, you know, when I decided to um, smoke marijuana, you know, what I'm saying and um, basically slow, slow myself down. That That's all on me. You know what I'm saying? And um, like, like he said, you know, with, with the case of between him and his roommates, you know, he graduated a lot sooner than his roommates did it took his roommates a little while and they, and they still made it and hey kudos to them you know congrats to them but i don't but but which is better though being able to accomplish things sooner rather than later 
You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, running a very slow pace, wasting very valuable time, you know what I mean, that you could have used to help get you, you know, further. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but the sooner that, that I can get ahead, you know what I'm saying, the better. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I, I just refuse to let, you know, anything and everything, you know what I mean? Even if that means having to cut out marijuana, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I, re I refuse to let things like that, you know, get, get in the way of my accomplishments, my dreams, my goals, you know. So if that's what I got to sacrifice in order to get there, hey, by all means, deuces. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. So oh, I wanted to get done as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. So I did. Fast forward to today. Um, I've been out of college for a while and I do not smoke marijuana. I haven't touched the stuff in probably about 12 years. Uh, hey, and kudos to my man, man. That, that's, that's what's up. Um, and there are a few reasons why. Reason number one is I don't like the feeling of being high. Um, the older that I get, the more I like being in control of my mind. And Facts, facts. And that's something that I kind of addressed too in my video. You know what I mean? Uh, I get, you know, with me being older now, yeah, I, I, I don't like the feeling of, you know, having my mind being in an altered state. I don't like being high, you know what I'm saying? And I sure as hell don't like that feeling when you're inhaling that the the marijuana when you light it and everything i don't like that that feeling of my throat feeling like it's like like it's on fire you know what i'm saying and um yeah it, it's i mean all these these things that you put yourself through just to what put yourself in that relaxed state i mean it, yeah to me it's not worth it i know i'm gonna get some smart asses in the comments like well there's other ways to intake you know cannabis you know, without having to feel that sensation, right? But the point is, you know, at least for me, is that I, I don't like having things being in control of my life. I like being in control of my life. I don't want to do something. Oh, just because, you know, my 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 uh, my uh, friends are doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, what what what, what do you what do you um taking cannabis or whatever? You know what I mean? Why why do you, why do you smoke weed or whatever? Oh, because my friends are doing it, you know what I mean? So I just figured, you know, that's the cool, hit thing to do. Some of my family do it, so I don't know. I guess that's just the cool, hit thing to do, you know what I'm saying? Because then it brings it brings up that age-old question. Well, if your friends jump off a bridge, would you do it too? Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it is what it is. And in control of my actions. Um, that's the other reason why I don't drink that much anymore. Is because you know, same sort of thing. I like feeling. Yeah, and, and that's a whole another video that I plan on doing too. Uh, I do want to make a video where I address why I don't really, really drink alcohol um, all that much. Really, very little to not anymore. You know, what I'm saying I don't recall the last time I drank either. But like I said, that's a whole nother video. We can get into that, you know, when I make that video. But yeah, anyway. The way that I do sober. For me, I'm not saying that it's, I'm just saying for me, I don't need it. I don't want it. I prefer being sober. Right. Um, reason number two is I've got too much to do. And I'm not yep. saying this in a bad way. I'm saying this in a good way. I've got a lot to do. I'm passionate. I'm excited. Every day I get up and I'm excited to yep. do what I'm about to do. Sometimes I don't know what it is, but smoking pot isn't something that's going to help me do what I need to do. Um, facts, facts. And I'm glad he said that because I can tell you from firsthand experience, marijuana does not enhance anything. It does not enhance you know your mind your creativity and all this and that i could tell you every song that i wrote from you know my, my worst song when i from when i first started to every song that i put out you know now i was never drunk i was never high i was never you know under any influence when i would write my music that was just straight up me you know what i mean that came up from a sobered mind, a sobered heart, you know what I'm saying? So I was in complete control of all these lyrics that, that, that I wrote. Marijuana never helped me with any of that stuff. Alcohol never helped me out with any of that stuff. So this idea like, oh, yeah, it helps you. you know, no, no, it don't. No, it don't. Marijuana, it's, it's designed to do one thing. It's to put you in this relaxed state, you know, this calming state or whatever. You know what I mean? And it just makes you lazy. It makes you lazy. It makes you tired. You're hungry all the time. Hence why you're always eating all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Which causes you to do what? Gain weight. You know what I'm saying? And put you in a very, um, in a very unhealthy state physically. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I and I know people are gonna be like, well, that that's you, whatever, blah blah blah. I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. It 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 can be a very you know, uh, case by case basis. You know what I'm saying? It can be, but majority of the time though. You know, marijuana, it, it, while some people believe that it may be beneficial and to some degree it can be, you know what I'm saying? When it's being properly utilized, you know, but then you got people out there who abuse the stuff and it has really bad and negative effects on them. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I mean, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. And again, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, discourage people to, uh, give up marijuana, you know what I'm saying, if you love it, you, you want to smoke it every day, you want to smoke weed every day, by all means, hey, it's your life that you're living at the end of the day, so live it however you want, you know what I'm saying, I'm just saying for me, I don't want to do this stuff anymore, because much like my man Alpha here, I got a lot of things to do, I got my, my YouTube career to think about, I got my music career to think about, you know what I'm saying, and plus I got hobbies to o- occupy me, you know what I'm saying, to you know, that, that I would rather invest into, you know what I mean? Like my die cast car collection. I love collecting and modding die cast cars. I got these action figures here. You know what I'm saying? That I love to collect and also modify. In fact, you see this right here? This is, this was my, my fucking stoner kit that I used to carry in this bag that I would take to work every day. You know what I mean? And I still do. Why? Because I keep my notebooks in there. So when I want to write lyrics, I can bust out my notebooks and write lyrics while I'm at work. You see, this container, this container held the last bit of my stash, you know what I mean, that I still had left. I just cleared this thing out last night during my shift, washed this thing out, you know what I mean? You can still kind of smell it in there, but then not really, you know? This one, yeah, it's got some action figure limbs, and no, your boy is not a psycho, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why I have disembodied action figure parts. Like I said, I collect action figures. I also modify action figures. You know what I mean? I customize my action figures. So sometimes I'll buy figures just so I can get certain parts. You know what I mean? That I want to use on another one if I want to build a custom. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Th- there's, you know, enthusiasts, figure enthusiasts that do things like that. And then look. What's left over in my kit are these three lighters. That I'm now going to put in my cup. Uh, well, boys dropping these everywhere. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, anyway. Keep those there. My glass pipe. I'm probably going to get, you know, a noto from YouTube for showing that. But that's it. That's all that's left. And I'm probably going to give this thing away. To somebody, probably a relative or whatever that that still smokes Mary Jane, or maybe a friend that still smokes Mary Jane or whatever, you know. And I'm gonna use this kit now for my hobby. You know what I'm saying? Action figure collecting and modding. That's what that kit now is gonna be. You know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. Um, in my experiences, when I would smoke pot, I would just get lazy. I'd just sit mm-hmm. around, watch TV, and... Yep, I, I did the same thing. And ...eat, leading yep. to reason number three, my vanity. All right, I work way too hard staying in shape and taking care of my body physically, and smoking pot, when I do it, I'm not saying that smoking pot is bad for you or that it's going to, you know, cause you to... Actually, it does reduce your motivation a bit. Um, it does, it does, because then here's the thing, too. After a high... And if you and y'all can try to deny this all you want, but when you come down right after that that wonderful high you just experienced, you then go into tell me you you don't you don't go into this 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 negative mind state of, you know what I mean like oh you're 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 sad you're feeling low and all this and that, that that's that's the crash that's the crash and burn that you're feeling from from after being lifted up you know what I'm saying. Uh, and yeah, and I, I, I hate that feeling, you know what I mean? I, I just don't like it, and that's why I don't do it anymore. And again, that's just me, though. This is this is just me going based off of my experience, just as he is talking from, you know, his experience, you know what I'm saying? It's, again, we're not trying to, to discourage anyone from doing what they love to do. If that's what you love to do, hey, do it. You know what I mean? It's your life. Not mine, not his, so do you. 
But for me, it made me eat like crazy, right? Yeah. I got the munchies super bad. It's Same here. You know what I mean? And the years of munchies, you know, got me to a point where it's like, you know, I was so overweight and everything that, you know, I was starting to have chest pains. And that's, and that's why I'm so glad I, I started making um, my workouts now a, a habit, a healthy habit. Because before I started, I was getting these really bad chest pains, guys. Like, I, it literally, I was getting these really bad, like, heartburns, you know what I'm saying? It, and it would feel like I'm having a freaking heart attack, which scared, you know, the living shit out of me. So I'm like, okay, okay, I get it. I need to start taking better care of myself, you know what I'm saying? And, again, that's why I started working out. Because I don't like that feeling. I don't want, I don't like that feeling of, of me being on the brink of death. You know what I'm saying? For all I know, I, I was probably on the brink of death, you know, and um, but now I'm in I'm in much better shape than I was months ago. You know, um, I'm like four months deep now. Look at this, man. My arms are starting to fill out my 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 shirt sleeves and everything. You know what I'm saying? It feels good to be in a much better physical condition. You know what I'm saying? Um, than where, where I was, you know, and I'm starting to, you know, feel more comfortable in my skin now, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to look at myself in the mirror completely different, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you are you are doing things, you know what I mean? Like, I can give myself a pat on the back because, hey, I'm doing things, I'm making shit happen, you know? I'm taking my life, you know, I'm taking my, I'm, I'm taking back control of my life. I'm, you know what I mean? And people can say whatever they want, well, like, well, it's because I buy you know, marijuana. That doesn't mean you know, I'm not in control of my life. And yeah, to a degree, you're right. You know I mean, it, at the end of the day, it is your decision as to what you spend your money on. It's your money. You do what you want with it. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your money. I'm saying for me, okay, just so we're clear, I'm saying for me, if if I got a feed and a, and a addiction, because that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? If you're still constantly hitting that thing, right? It's an addiction. You're 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 addicted to it. If you feel a need to have to go sp and if I feel a need that I have to go spend my money on this thing, you know what I mean? To 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 feed the, this this freaking beast that is addiction, I'm not in control. This thing is in is in control of my life. And that is an an, an awful feeling to have. That is a, an awful thought to have knowing that I'm not in control. This thing that, that I'm into is in control. You feel me? Anyway, so I already have a tough time, not a tough time, but I've got to watch what I eat or mm -hmm. else I'm going to balloon up to 180 pounds. Yep. And so marijuana, another thing where I just don't want to eat all the crappy food that would come along with it. Reason yeah. number four, it's just not something that I care to do. Right. I think when I was younger, I did it for a few different reasons. One was because it was like something different. You know, as you're growing up, as, as you mature, you're starting to test limits and, and try different things. And I think for me, it was part of the, you know, sort of the rebellion, the youth rebellion, where I was like, ooh, this is bad, it's dangerous, all my friends are doing it, let me try. Exactly, exactly, it's the same thought pattern that I, that I have, you know what I mean? Back in the day when I, when I was younger, and it was illegal, so like, you know, the excitement of like, ooh, you know, I'm breaking the law or whatever, you know what I mean, I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to, you know what I mean, because, yo, know, and all my, all my homies are doing it, all my boys are doing it, whatever, you know what I mean, so I'm being one of the boys, one of the homies, I'm being a fucking follower. Right, and being an individual. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Let me wind this back. Did it for a few different reasons. One was because it was like something different. You know, as you're growing up. And yeah, that's another thing too. It, it, it was different. You know, it was a new, exciting experience. But then as I mentioned in my last video, you know, given with where I'm at now, it's not that exciting anymore. You know what I'm saying? It, no, it's not because it's, legal now or whatever it doesn't matter whether it's it's legal now in in california you know it's it's legal here doesn't matter if it's legal doesn't matter if it would still be illegal you know what i mean after doing it for so long it just it just got old that's what it is it got old for me you know the excitement the spark it's not there anymore you know what i mean so now it's like okay next you know what i mean what's what's something else that i can do you know what I mean? That, that'll bring back that 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 freaking thrill, that that uh, excitement. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like doing creative stuff. You know, again, going back to my action figure collection. You know what I mean? Modding figures, collecting diecast cars, modding cars, doing my YouTube, working on music. 
I like being creative and I like doing things that, that, are, that are constructive, constructive and creative, you know what I'm saying? Because it keeps your mind sharp. Things like these keep your mind sharp. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And, and it helps gives you and and each time when you're doing when you're doing things like 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 these hobbies that I have, it always brings something new, different and exciting. You know what I mean? It's something that it never gets old because, oh, check it out. You know, I got a brand new diecast car, completely different from all these other diecast cars that I got. Okay, um, it's a it's it's a certain model, or whatever. So what style of rims should I put on it? You know what I mean? Like, yo, oh, I never, I kind of like the way these rims, I, I never had these rims before. I kind of like the way, I think I like how these would look on this car. Let me get these, boom. You know what I mean? Put on a, a fresh set of rims that I never thought I would buy on a car that these particular style of rims will look good on. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I can see a, a body mod that I can that I can do. You know what I mean? Let me let me try that out. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with these action figures. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, I got I got this Superman figure. You know what I mean? But, oh, his arms look, look a little small. Let me see, let me let me check my my you know figure my my spare figure parts. You know what I mean? Do I have arms that look a bit more muscular same color whatever so i don't have to do a whole lot of work yes i do okay let's let's switch these out for these you know what i mean like you, you, you know what i mean it's always new fun and exciting when, when you do stuff like that now i'm not saying pick up the same hobbies as, as, as me i'm just saying for me this is why i do these things you know what i'm saying same thing with with uh with with youtube when i make a video see i'm really excited that i'm i'm reacting to somebody that's new that's different you know what i'm saying and, and doing those vlogs those were also great because you know i don't do vlogs very often so to do something that i haven't done in a while something that, that's new and different it, it brings a new excitement a new thrill you know what i'm saying and whereas with, with, with marijuana it's always the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and what's the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over and over and over again expecting a different result every time you feel what i'm saying it's it's the same thing when i when i work on music i'm working on a new song i'm like you know what i never done a song like this before let me let me do this that's fun that's exciting to me you know what i mean breath let's go up as as you mature you're starting to test limits and and try different things and i think for me it was part of the you know sort of the rebellion the youth rebellion mm. where i was like oh this is bad it's dangerous all my friends are doing it let me try because mm. there was some peer pressure involved as well yeah, uh growing up facts. i didn't i wasn't hugely influenced i say i'm not i wasn't hugely influenced i'm sure that i was to a degree influenced by my peers um uh, but you know I mean, if it took your peers to get you to do it, then yeah, you were influenced. So, yeah, I would agree that he was definitely influenced to some degree. But doesn't take away from the fact that he was, you know, very self-aware and, and smart enough to know, like, all right, you know what, this is, this isn't really doing anything, you know, for me that's benefiting me. So. I'm not gonna do this anymore. And that's cool. Let's go. You know, even back in high school and beyond, beyond pre <laughs> like i said i shouldn't have smoked that bong i'm sure there was a dash of peer pressure in there also boredom sometimes when you're bored when you're idle when you're not working on something you're like what can i do now well today and where i'm at in my life and in my career i don't feel the need to you know occupy my time with destructive behaviors so right. to answer your question do I have an experience with pot? Yes, I've got limited experience with pot. I've never grown it. I've never smoked it in abundance. I've tried it. It was recreational. Is it something for me now where I am today? No. Is it somewhere where in five years, ten years from now, I'm going to be like, give me a joint and I'm just going to go on some stoner road trip? It's possible. I'm not mm. ruling it out. Bringing us to the question, what is my thought and what is my opinion on marijuana? Am I opposed to it? No. Um, some of my dearest friends, most successful friends, do smoke the occasional bowl from now or from time to time. Uh and yeah, and this was something that I, I want to make sure that we get clear too. You know what I mean? I know some of my, my, my friends are probably thinking, well, oh, just if, if he's giving that up, does, does that mean he's not going to want to be around us anymore? Because, oh, because, you know, we, we do it. No, like I said, 
I'm not judging anybody, you know what I mean, if you still want to enjoy, you know, hitting that ball, you know what I'm saying, hitting that bong, hitting that joint or whatever, do you, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, and and as long as you, you respect me, you know what I'm saying, and what it is that I'm trying to accomplish, you know what I mean, and you respect me for living my life how I see fit, then I will show you the same respect in return, you know what I'm saying, like I said earlier in the video, it is your life, it is your decision, you live it however you choose to live, you know what I'm saying, don't let me and my way of life, you know, keep you from doing that, because that's not what I'm trying to do, that's not what I'm trying to accomplish, I'm doing what is best for me, and sometimes what it, what is best for me may not be what's best for you, and that's cool, you know what I'm saying, we don't have to do the same things, we don't have to, you know, share the same interests, you know what I'm saying, and we don't always have to agree with each other in order for us to get along, hell, I mean, to me, that makes any and all friendships, any and all relationships boring if that was the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would be the point? You know what I mean? If we agree on everything, you know what I mean? And we share all the same interests and everything. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. It's cool to have some things in common because it gives us some things to talk about. But it's also just as much fun, if not more so, if we have some things that make us unique, some things that make us different, you know what I'm saying? Because then that's another conversation piece that we, we can have. You know what I mean? Bruh. Anyway. Um, but it's not something that I do for me. Um, do I think it's dangerous? Really, I think alcohol is more dangerous in the grand scheme of things. Way and he's not wrong. I do agree with that wholeheartedly. Way more people go drink too much, get behind the wheel, yeah. and then kill somebody or damage themselves or de develop a dependency on yeah. alcohol versus marijuana. I also know that there are amazing benefits to it um, yeah. medicinally. You yeah. know, I feel that marijuana absolutely should be legalized because you could tax the crap out of it. Yep. And I know that people, the critics to legalizing marijuana are like, you know, oh my God, if you legalize it, everybody's going to be smoking. You're going to, it's going to be anarchy. Well, here's the deal. I also believe in personal responsibility and accountability. Yes. All right. Just because it's not legal doesn't mean that people can't get it. Um, really, it, it's about. And that's another true statement too. Back when it was illegal, when it was outlawed here, you know, like I said, I, I've, I've hit the, I've hit the marijuana, you know what I'm saying? When it was illegal, you know what I mean? I've done it with, with family. I've done it with friends. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. It, it wasn't hard getting our hands on the stuff when it was outlawed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it makes no, no, no difference really. And yeah, and I agree with him. Yeah, we're, we're better off just making it legal because, I mean, it's one less thing, you know what I mean, to crowd the prison system with. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's I mean, if there's people be, being irresponsible with it, fine. Do what, you know what I mean? Uh, do what you got to do teach them a lesson, you know what I'm saying, so that way they don't repeat the same mistakes again, you know, it's it's not fair that, oh, you know, one, two, maybe a few people, you know, go and abuse the shit, and then you want to go, and you want to re-outlaw it for everyone else, like, no, nah, that, that, that's not cool, you know what I mean, um, <clears throat> no, if, if you're gonna do it, at least be responsible about it, be, be smart about it, you know what I mean, um, whether you're at home, or you're at, you're at a friend's house, or whatever, you know what I mean, if you don't plan on going anywhere, don't don't make any plans to go anywhere or do anything if you're going to be hitting the Mary Jane, all right? Because trust, it's it's going to save your ass in the long run, and also it's going to save others in the long run, too. I know he was really talking more about alcohol in regards to this, but trust me, marijuana, it's a very mind-altering altering thing. It's it, You know what I mean? It, it's also a controlled stuff, substance, you know what I'm saying? It'll do things to your mind. It'll do things to you physically. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're gonna do it, make sure you're you're somewhere that you can you you can stay. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your house or someone else's house, whatever the case. Anyway, taking control of your life. Um, if you just want to sit around and smoke bowls all day, all right, do it. All yeah. right, you're yeah. less competition for me in my life succeeding. Um, exactly. If you want to slow yourself down, you know what I'm saying, and enjoy your Mary Jane. That's cool. Like he said, you're one less competition for us to have to worry about. You know what I mean? You're one less person I have to worry about that that, that could potentially be whether it's in my lane or in his lane. You know what I'm saying? So by all means, hey, have fun. Do you.
Um, you know, marijuana, when abused and, and used in excess, is definitely going to affect your motivation and your success. Facts. Um, if it's something you want to do recreational, I'm not going to say not to do it. Right. I would be the biggest hypocrite in the world because I have... Same here. I agree with that. Done it. Um, but I'm saying that you need to put it in perspective. Yes. You also need to be responsible. Yes. Um, you know, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. There are a lot worse drugs out there that... Facts. In my opinion, once again, everything I say is my opinion. Please don't take this as me saying, go out and smoke pot, or don't use it as an excuse of alpha smoke pot. Let me tell you something. I was super dumb when I was young. <laughs> and he ain't the only one. I was dumb when I was young. Hell, we were all dumb when we were young. We were all stupid when, when we were young. Young, dumb, and full of cum. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> don't do as I did. Do as I say. <laughs> I am having like anxiety now, thinking that I shouldn't have done this video. Um, but <laughs> who knows? Hopefully, I, I don't even know what is the point of this video. You guys wanted to, you there's like five people out there that are smoking pot, watching my videos. They're like, wonder if Alpha smokes. I know sometimes I probably act stoned. I am not, however, I am high on life, and that is the best place to be. And that is big time facts. So yeah, y'all, that was the man Alpha M. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and match the like on this video because I like what what, what he was saying here. Again, it's basically to help drive home uh, the points that I was trying to make in my video. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm I'm still open to it. You know what I mean? And like I said, I don't care what other people do with their lives. The whole point of me making that vlog video was was just like Alpha did with his just to give um, our views, our opinions on it, you know what I mean? It's just to let, kind of let everyone know where we're at with with the uh, with the Mary Jane. I'm probably going to do another video, another vlog video in regards to alcohol because I do feel like that's very fitting and I feel like my experiences with um, alcohol can be helpful to, you know, the, the, the younger generation, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Um... Because, yeah, I, I do want to start making videos where if I can help somebody, you know, with, with their life and everything, you know what I mean? Man, that, that would be awesome. You know what I mean? I, it's just something to really add more more value, you know, to what I'm trying to bring to, to the table. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I, I like to help out other people, you know, in any way that I possibly can. So, hopefully this video will help somebody out if they need it. You know what I'm saying? But, again... Like both me and Dude were saying, you know, it's your life at the end of the day. You're the one who's in control. You know what I mean? It's your decision at the end of the day. Live your, live your life however you want. You know what I mean? But for someone like me, like I'm, I'm good with where I'm at. Um, like I said, I'm not against it either. If that's something that you want to do recreationally, you know what I mean? To help calm you. If you feel like you need it because it helps to calm you down or whatever. Hey, I'm all for whatever you know, can help you. So, so as long as it doesn't have ever long, everlasting, long, uh, long lasting, um, harmful effects on you. That's what I'm trying to get at. Bruh. Words, Jay words. And nah, huh? but anyway, um, yeah, as long as you're, you're, you're not hurting yourself or others, Hey, live your best life. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. All right, y'all talking in loops again, which means it is time to wrap up this video. So anyway, let me know how you guys feel. You know what I mean? Comment section is always open for conversations. So as long as we keep it, you know, proactive, constructive, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I look forward to checking out all y'all's comments as I always do. Shout out to everybody who commented um, in my uh, perspective video uh, in regards to marijuana. Um, everyone from Jay, the Redneck, uh, or now Jay from Thursday Night Records. Uh, shout out to Thursday Night Records, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? Thursday Night Records in the building. You know what I'm saying, Brett? And uh, Jimmy Juggalo, shout out to you as well, man. Appreciate you commenting. Uh, Angela Sanchez. And um, yeah, everyone else. If I forget anybody, I apologize. And see, this is why. See, this is why I'm now. I'm glad I'm giving up the stuff, man. Because I, I need to help sharpen up my, my mind and get better with my memory and everything. So yeah. But yeah, shout out to all y'all. And anyone that anyone else who commented, if I forgot y'all, my bad. I apologize. Trust me, no disrespect intended. I appreciate every single one of you who watch these videos, who comment, who engage with, with the videos, with the channel. 
you know what I mean? And everyone who has subscribed, thank you all so very much. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget, y'all, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. That would be very much appreciated. Don't forget, of course, check out all the links in the description down below, including some, uh, some storefront links. If you're interested in picking up some original JJV uh, apparel, that would be very much appreciated. It will definitely help me out and help keep the channel alive. Not required, but it is greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all later. All right? Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bathos. What happened to that dude on the street? Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. Why you sad? If you sad, you sad, you sad, you happy. I'm too happy. I'm expecting shit.